take a look at this little animation right here. From Figma to Framer, that is the title of my next course. Now, this video isn't about that. It's about this animation that I created using a new tool called Jitter. It's a web-based animation tool that allows you to create designs, for instance, in Figma. They could be layouts that you wanna animate, import them into this tool, which is web-based, and very quickly and easily animate them and export them in video format all the way up to 4K, 60 frames per second. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in today's video. Make sure to subscribe, of course, and as always, check out designcourse.com. Let's get started. If you enjoyed this video, check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI, UX, CSS, and more with my custom interactive platform that makes learning fun and easy. Okay, so the very first step is to hop into Figma to design something. The something that I designed is not really a UI, although it could be. Um, it's more of kind of just like an illustration that I wanted to add animations to. This could be all done in HTML, CSS, and put on a website and animated with GreenSock Animation Platform. And perhaps we want to communicate how us, as UI UX designers, how we want this to be animated because it's so easy to animate in this tool. So once you have your design, and by the way, if you want to follow along, I will make this file available on the Figma community. You can just replicate it and follow along and learn as we go. So the first thing you have to do is for the plugins, search for Jitter, all right? Once you have that ready to rock, I'm gonna click on it. I have the whole desktop frame selected. You could hit copy right now, or you can select a different frame or layer or whatever and do that as well. It's just like the Framer plugin as well for Figma. So I'm gonna hit copy, and it's gonna copy everything. And then I'm gonna go to Jitter. So it's jitter.video, and you could create a new account very quick and easily. You can get to this in like 30 seconds from now if you pause the video. Now I'm gonna click, uh, we don't have to click import from video because that will just bring up the plugin uh, URL from Figma. I'm gonna create new file and then control V to paste. That's it. So I'm gonna hit control in my mouse roll, mouse scroll wheel to zoom out. Um, you can hold the, the middle scroll wheel uh, to pan around and everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Um, this right here, this scene, I'm gonna expand it out so that we can see it. Okay, so what we wanna do essentially is I, oh, by the way, I can really briefly describe the UI. I don't really think it's necessary though. It's, it's just like every other of these, these web-based UIs are. You have your layers over here, toolbar up here, and your properties vector up here. There is an animate tab to make things super simple as well. And that's where we're gonna start because we don't have to do any design. It's already ready to rock and go. So you can notice down here, there is a timeline, which I love. It's very easy to deal with a timeline uh, when it comes to animation. So let's say for instance, we wanted to take Figma. So I could double click onto Figma. You can see we have a selecting the layers here. And I want this to kind of have like a mask reveal effect. Here's what's really cool. I don't have to mask it. It will mask for me and apply the animation. So I click new animation and we have some presets here. These are ins, like to animate things in. And then up here, these are outs to animate things out of view. And then over here we have custom and I'll show you how to use that as well. So if we go to in, I like the mask reveal down here. You can see if, you, if they're just hovering over or animating or looping over. We just click it and guess what? It's already there and it's fast. There's no like rendering that you have to wait for like on After Effects, uh, it's instant. I like that. And we can take this and drag it to increase the time. There we go. And we have other options like the easing over here for the property inspectors. You can change the directions. Uh, you can turn off this little zoom. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff we can do. If we want it to be elastic, look at that. It kind of just bounces in and out. So very powerful. Let's keep on going on with this. And what we'll do now is do the same thing with frame, uh, framer, the word. So I'm just gonna come down here. We'll just do mask reveal framer. Okay. Oh, by the way, I do want to switch to the design tab because there's an issue. I know what this issue is. This little um, thing right here is because I don't have the font and I use little dashes for those little dashes that you see over there. So if I just type in this one or select that one, that'll fix that issue. There we go. So now we can go back to animate and we can drag these so that they start roughly at the same time. I like that. Now we'll take, uh, let's take from and we'll do the same thing real quickly. So new animation, mask reveal, 
put it maybe right there at the first. Okay, I like that. Now we'll take two and this little um, arrow and we're gonna group Control G. And that way we can apply an animation to both of them. And this time we'll just do a slide in. There you go, that's nice because it's an arrow pointing that way so we'll make it slide that direction. That's nice. Now let's take these and we'll do a different animation type for this one, like spin in. Let's do the same thing for that one. That'll be spin in. And let's get these over here somewhere. Okay, so they're starting a little bit too late. See how fast I can work? There we go. And let's make them slightly start at an offset. Nice. And then now I let's go ahead and animate these guys in right here, these dashed lines. So all I have to do, we're gonna create a custom animation for this. So we're gonna go up to custom, choose move. And it's really cool. I love this little, the way they've worked this in. You can see these little circles. So this, this one will be where it's going animating from. So if I zoom out, let's get over here. There we go. And we select this again. There we go. Let's bring that to the top. They, they fall into place. And then we can also change the animation to like elastic, make it look interesting. Maybe have it go over there. We'll do the same thing for this one. So if I just move this over, we grab this one. Put new animation, custom, we'll move it. And this time, we're taking this one and putting it way over here. So now we'll get this one offset slightly as well. And I think we also had a custom easing, so elastic. All right, let's try this out. Great. Now we're gonna take uh, all of our little ellipses, which is these, these three little arrows. And what we'll do is group them with this rectangle, Control G put it at the bottom. All right, and now we'll animate that. I think we could maybe spin that in. I'm not sure if I like that. Let's change it. Uh, we could twist in. Okay, I like that one. And so we can do this maybe the whole duration. No, let's get this over here. Let's get it maybe over here. All right, that's pretty cool. Now, another cool thing I'll show you is we could take all this stuff and put it in an entire group and then animate that group as well. Like a twist in, and then we can make it maybe the entire duration. So we really make it dynamic. Now, maybe instead of that one, I, let's change this to move and scale in. I think that's a much better one. Nice. All right, so now what we can do, now that we have our animation, we can hit export. And if you're a pro user, you can export in 1080p and 4K. If you're not, you can do 720p and 480. So let's just do, I'm gonna do 1080. And it gives you options here. I really like this screen. This is at 60 frames per second at 1920 by 1080, which is the resolution I upload these videos in. And if I hit download, I'll get access to it. I think it's showing up on a different screen, but this is the animation. Look how quick and easy that was. That was absolutely awesome. I'll be personally using Jitter um, for a lot of different projects, for my YouTube channel videos, and just for different videos like that, and also even UI UX prototyping animations. So hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, I will definitely ask you to subscribe and check out designcourse.com. I'll see y'all soon. Goodbye.